kids. Welcome back to a, another Kids for Truth video where we are exploring big truths about God. And last week we discovered the truth and explored the truth that God is creator. Now, maybe in school you have begun to study life cycles. So maybe you have studied the life cycle of a plant. You know it begins as a seed that's sown or one that falls to the ground and it responds to the rain and the nutrients in the soil and it sprouts up and grows, absorbs the sunlight, and then it reproduces. It forms seeds that fall to the ground or are blown away or carried off by animals or insects or water. It's a life cycle. Or maybe the life cycle of a butterfly, right? It begins as just an egg on a leaf and it hatches and a larva emerges and the larva grows into a caterpillar. And what does that caterpillar do? He creates a chrysalis. And inside the caterpillar is transformed into a butterfly. And the butterfly emerges and eventually it also lays an egg and the cycle begins again. Well, you know, everything has a life cycle. Everything and everyone except for God. God has no life cycle because he has no beginning and no ending. He has no cause because he is the cause. He is creator God. Psalm 90 says this, before the mountains were brought forth, or ever you had formed the earth and the world, from everlasting to everlasting, you are God. Before God created everything, before God created anything, there was God, the uncreated one. And when we look around at the universe, and all that God has made, it should be obvious that there is a designer, that this didn't just happen by accident. We see this as we look at the animals all around us, as we see animals in the zoo, on TV, in the wild, right? We know that God is creative in his design. Consider these amazing facts about some amazing animals. Did you know that a bat can eat up to a thousand insects an hour? Kind of gross, but amazing. Did you know that dogs can smell a hundred thousand times better than me and you? Did you know that honeybees can flap their wings 200 times per second? Maybe you know that sea otters hold each other's hands while they sleep so they don't drift apart. Did you know that a grizzly bear can bite through a bowling ball? He can crush a bowling ball with his teeth. Did you know that dolphins are so smart that they have names for other dolphins? They call each other by their name. As we look at just a few animals, we realize that no one could be as creative as God. God is wonderful in his design. No one is like him. Could you think of a brand new animal? Maybe you could. Maybe you could draw an animal that would be brand new. Maybe it would have a head like a dog, maybe the body of a cheetah, the wings of an eagle, maybe legs like a kangaroo, and the tail of a crocodile. But even if you could draw that, could you put that animal together? Could you figure out all the different systems that it would need in its body to help him survive? Yeah, that would be impossible, but that's just what God did. And he didn't just do it once, he did that millions of times. There are about eight to nine million species of animals on the earth. No one is like God. In Psalm 19, verse 1, David said, The heavens, the universe, creation declares the glory of God. The skies proclaim his handiwork. Everywhere we look in creation, we see the work of God a good and great, perfect designer. God is creator. Well, thanks for joining us and exploring this truth that God is creator. We hope to see you next week for another edition of our Kids for Truth. Have a great week. <music>